Hello to all and welcome to your spiritual advice reading for the day of October 6th of 2023. So October 6th is a last quarter moon. And when I look at my notes regarding the last quarter moon, there's going to be a bit of a crisis of consciousness. And it's in a good way, actually, right? We just finished uh, moon energies of letting go, releasing, closing old chapters, whether it's personal or professional. And now we're looking at a new chapter. And in some cases, uh, there's fear. I've created this. I want this. But I'm coming into an awareness of uh, a new me, what needs to be for me now. Wow. Wow. So again, this is the Game of Thrones tarot deck. Someone here feels like you've been fighting a battle for a period of time. If this has to do with work or business, this is you kind of hitting a glass ceiling or just recognizing that there's nowhere to grow. So the advice is to turn around at this time if you're conflicted about where you're at and open up for yourself a new doorway a new opportunity, a new direction. What are you passionate about? If you could create in this new chapter a, a more successful or fulfilling uh, business or creative project, what would that be? Because it is time to kind of think about, well, I put a lot of time and effort into this person, place, circumstance, situation. I'm feeling an organization for some. It is time to decide, do I stay or should I create change? For I know that I've grown in this path, therefore I'm ready to step into a higher path of greater awareness and fulfillment. So Spirit is confirming with the major arcan of the world here that in the relationship sector to another or others, things are coming to a completion. Because it is time to create new passionate directions and connections in a new chapter, just like I was talking about. So Spirit's really helping the collective to bring things to a successful completion where they are at and to step into a position of greater leadership, abundance, starting your own business on the side, practicing a hobby, gift, talent, or skill. Now, we do have the Earth-type energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn for some, who uh, are thinking that I'm feeling a bit like I've outgrown a situation. Uh, for others, this is spirit nudging the collective to connect with someone who's in a leadership position, to learn from like-minded people, to go into a direction of greater leadership or abundance. Yes. Keep on keeping on. If you've been working on or, yes, uh, a, a something... A, a position, a business situation, uh, spirit saying, you know, again, it is time to open yourself up to new opportunities and to not give up until you know that you know who this person is that spirit's talking about. Someone in a leadership position, someone of like mind, someone who can help bring you into a new direction. Because it is time with the major arcana justice here to go into the direction of a beautiful and balanced path. To trust that justice will turn in your favor if you were open yourself up to new possibilities at this time. If this is what you've been thinking about, this is a nudge from spirit to keep on until you recognize a better path before you, uh, a more balanced situation. Now, I do have to say, if this is a personal question, we do have uh, two masculines, uh, wands, and coins. So, uh, Sag Aries, Leo, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, or there is a, a grounded energy of someone, but there are thoughts of someone else. And emotionally, there's this call for justice. I don't know if someone's married, committed, partnered, or uh, there's this awareness that uh, you're very passionate about what you've developed for yourself. And now justice indeed has turned in your favor because you checked out new opportunities and you didn't give up until you discovered the one that Spirit is talking about here. Someone is in a passionate connection. I'm just going to say this real quick. 
uh, that feels like you're not quite sure what to do with the situation. And I think Spirit is saying it's time to kind of uh, lay it down. If uh, someone isn't uh, open and caring and loving as well and are planning a long-term future with you, it is really time to discuss what it is you want. If you're wanting marriage commitment partnership, you know, it's time to decide uh, who that may be. Someone wants to keep on keeping on with one situation, but there's like a marriage or commitment or partnership in the way. All right, so we back to money. Um, yes, it's the three of coins, right? We have coming together and connecting with others who want to connect with us, uh, finding the path of loving what we do and doing what we love. Uh, keep on keeping on because eventually there's going to come a conversation with another person who's financially abundant, stable, and secure, or who have created a grounded situation for themselves. Things can move in your favor if you will seek out this new path that Spirit's talking about with the world card. So a wish is coming true. Nine of cups, gotta say it. Uh, yeah, so spirits giving the collective the strength to seek out the wish that they're referring to where justice can turn in your favor in some cases where you find a business direction and you 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 are excited for that and then you meet someone if you're single someone who is in this new chapter very very passionate masculine type energy or this is you but definitely connecting with someone in a leadership position, knowing that eventually you'll know that you know that Spirit was saying this person will wait, work with you. And then you may have to sign on the dotted line with the Justice card, but it's time for a new beginning. It's time for a, a new chapter. Say yes when this comes. So it could be showing up. We're talking about the... Uh, Six last quarter moon of October, but it is time for creativity, for change to the point where you can create a foundation where you're feeling, you know, safe and secure. I'm hearing spirits trying to really bring every everybody into this uh, secure and stable energy for the winter. And uh, yeah, starts looking now, spirit saying, because the new moon is right around the corner, I believe the 13th going into the 14th of October. A yes is coming for many at the new moon of the 13th or 14th. Okay, so yeah, someone is not feeling like they have enough money or they're being offered what they deserve and spirit saying, follow the signs for we will guide you into the spotlight. Someone will see your worth and you'll receive a great emotional fulfillment. You may be a bit conflicted about a commitment partnership or contract. Uh, we have a spirit nudging the collective feminine energy who's ready for love to observe a situation a little bit longer with the emperor. Uh, again, the emperor could be someone in a leadership position and spirit saying trust that eventually after this time of quiet observation, shining your light on different paths and directions, there will come uh, this energy of the star, a wish fulfillment. So have hope. We're giving you the strength to look at things from every perspective and decipher which path opportunity that you are passionate about. Now, some of you are feeling this energy strongly around this last quarter moon, right? Because there is coming that energy of an awareness, a crisis consciousness. I'm not passionate about this person, place, circumstance, situation, direction anymore. I'm going to seek out the one that spirit's trying to guide me towards. So the fool here, of course, is a new path, spirit saying. When the opportunity comes, take it for there's a path of success and you will know through some form of communication. After the third or fourth job interview CV resume, there is going to be or maybe there have been there will be three options or there have been three and now it's coming down to two and spirits saying there's going to be this awareness of your ship coming in and an opportunity to leave behind a situation that made you feel stuck or trapped. Been seeing the Empress energy a lot, so it's about uh, knowing that you can manifest right now this beautiful chapter uh, where things are going to turn in your favor. People are going to want to work with you. A new path opens up and there's just uh, all you can do is say yes because you're going to know that you know uh, that this person is opening a doorway that is freeing you from what you were conflicted about before. Okay. <clears throat>
I think I'm going to close with a message from the Archangel Michael Oracle deck. Confirmation, clarification regarding the circle spread we just discussed. Say yes if it shows up. Uh, <laughs> during the last quarter moon and you're unsure, say yes. If not, trust that a yes will come to you around the 13th or 14th of October. See, recognize the sign. So uh, we've had a lot of messages from spirit guides, angels, and so on, uh, that they are trying to guide the collective into this path of just greater fulfillment in general. And so the angels are sending you messages now, but some may be a bit distracted, right? Too focused on a situation where there may be aggression regarding others or a situation that feels uncomfortable. But Spirit's saying, watch for the messages, stay alert to this open, uh, and open yourself to divine guidance. For there is coming, we've been seeing this a lot, we saw it a lot last week, I think, um, in many first half of October readings, regardless, embrace this magical moment. We got the number 11, so there's an awareness of a path that you've been in, and now a new beginning that will bring that passion and excitement back out from within you. So the collective is in a perfect energetic space at this time for manifesting whatever a miracle represents to you. Uh, when the wheel turns or the world turns and the portal opens and the past or the future, it's like it's all happening at the same time. It's just spirit saying, say yes, allow your wishes to be fulfilled. So if an offer comes, watch for the signs because it's just going to feel like you know that you know that you need to say yes to this and that it is a wish come manifest. So keep me updated like you guys do as to how these mes res messages resonated for you, uh, both in the comment section below and or via email. I, uh, I am offering, if these messages have resonated for you or you'd like a general reading, I am currently offering four one half hour video readings and they are a one month, three month, six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am uh, now offering the fall special, which is a 15-minute, one-month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for those likes, those shares, and those subscribes. But most importantly, to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care and God bless.